when I spent a holiday in the Bahamas in 1993, I was walking along the street when I met a couple of tourists from a well-known Western country. And then the husband stopped and said, Mr. Mandela, I said, well, many people mistake me for that chap. <laughs> <clears throat> and he said, uh, would I be entitled also to mistake you for that chap? I say, well, you'll be doing what many people do. He then turned to his wife and said, darling, Mr. Mandela, she was completely unimpressed. <laughs> and she said, uh, what is he famous for? <laughs> and the husband, in his embarrassment, uh, dropped the voice. And he said, Mr. Mandela, Mr. Mandela. And uh, the dear lady said, but I asked you, what is he famous for? <clears throat> And without waiting for an answer from the husband, she turned to me and said, what are you famous for? <laughs> I must confess I couldn't answer that question. <laughs> what are the trends and concrete measures on crime? Now, I will not shout the cheers because I had expected that uh, for this final session of the current parliament, I'd be given something a little more stronger than water. <laughs> <laughs> we are therefore pleased to announce that we are able once again to increase old age pensions. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. <clears throat> because in Davos, in Switzerland, I told the plenary session that in a few months, I'll be standing next to the road <laughs> saying, please help, unemployed, <laughs> no money, <laughs> a new wife. I have noted with deep gratitude the generous praise that has often been given to me as an individual. But let me state this. To the extent that I have been able to achieve anything, I know that this is because I am the product of the people of South Africa. I am the product of the rural masses who inspired in me the pride in our past and the spirit of resistance. I am the product of the workers of South Africa who in the mines, factories, fields and offices of our country have pursued the principle that the interests of each are founded in the common interests of all. I am the product 
of South Africa's intelligentsia of every color who have labored to give our society knowledge of itself and to fashion our people's aspirations into a reasonable dream. I am the product of South Africa's business people in industry and agriculture, commerce and finance, whose spirit of enterprise has helped to turn our country's immense natural resources into the wealth of our nation. To the extent that I have been able to take our country forward to this new era, it is because I am the product of the people of the world who have cherished the vision of a better life for all people everywhere. I am the product of Africa and her long cherished dream of a rebirth that can now be realized so that all of her children may play in the sun. The long walk continues in the long time. Moi look, say la tsuyo. Yeah.